shelf or they're manipulating yeah, yeah, their position and then just leaving them. You know, or, or they, they suffer from inactivity. That, that, that's not the um, case with Joseph. Obviously, he's fighting all the time. Uh, we have, uh, you know, he's lucky we do have a really strong fan base here in New Zealand in the Pacific. I think, you know, I've been saying it, I'll say it again. I think that is due a lot to what David Tour and Jimmy Piel getting the uh, public uh, keen on the you know, on boxing and help guys like myself, my wife Graham, Shane Cameron, and now Joseph Parker. You know, the, the interest is there, the crowd's there. In a sense, this fight's kind of been brewing for a decade, and as much as I know that you wanted David Tour in his prime many years ago, you didn't get him. And now I guess Joe is the number one New Zealand heavyweight, so a lot of motivation there from you going into this fight. Um, I wouldn't say it's been brewing for a decade at all, but um, but yeah, I mean like you know. Was it frustrating for you that you never got? Well, that's half the reason I was fighting in Australia. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I got no, no, no respect here, no mm. offense to you guys, but from the media at all. Yeah. You know, I, I got no following at all, and um, just the way it was. So mm. it is what it is. So I went, I went to Australia and I got um, a lot of support there, and, and I was proud to, to be recognised as Australia's best heavyweight for the last 10 years. Um, you know, this, this fight, I mean, coming back home. Fighting, winning the Super 8 and mm. beating Shane Cameron, yeah, it was good, it was nice to yeah. come back home and, and show everyone, you know, this is, this is me, this is what I've done and this is what I've accomplished and this sort of, is along the same sort of steps. And since the Cameron fight, have you guys at Duco, have you guys sort of been dancing around this, this fight since back then? Is the talk start um, back then? Or? Not really, not, not, yeah. not me personally, not, not my manager, I think, I think it might, might have been mentioned once or twice, but... Yep. Um, but the last six weeks I've been I've been in training already, just doing fitness yeah. and strength work. And, you know, the, I I do commend Duco for giving me plenty of time to you know prepare for this fight. You know, so <coughs> um, why do you think Duco have wanted this fight? What, what well, it makes sense. It makes sense. He's he's done he's done everything that a, a young fighter coming along needs to do. Mm. He's done it. He's passed all those tests. They're, they're matchmaking very very cleverly. Um, you know, without big disrespect to his other opponents, this is his real first fight. This is his fight. This is his test, and you know, I'll be ready. Mm. Do you feel you can outbox him and subdue his power by being uh, the superior boxer? I mean, there's a lot of things I can do. Um, there's a lot of things he can do. You know, it, it just all depends what happens on the night as well. You know, like I'm a superior boxer, but I've also got to handle his speed. He's got to handle mine. I've got to, whatever doors open sort of can dictate the fight on the night. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it, you know, I, know it's I, I, I will have a lot of experience over it for sure, no doubt. I know it's going to be hard until you actually get in the ring and face him, but do you think going into the fight he'll probably be the quickest guy you face? <laughs> well, he'd be up there, he'd be up there, but I mean, like, I've had 47 odd fights, I've had over 2 million rounds of sparring, you know, but I've been in the ring with fast people, you know, strong people, tall people, short people, round people, tall people, you know, yeah. all kinds, so I just want to make sure I'm in the best shape I can be, you know, and get some real good hard sparring, which I'm mainly getting from my son, yeah. and then uh, go over the game, it's showtime. He's sparring with his son, Yeah, he doesn't hold back at all. <laughs> You're pleased with the way he's developing? Um, you mean as a boxer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he's got it all, he just needs to, you know, he's sort of tossing up where he's at now, rugby league boxing, but um, yeah, yeah, he'll come. Um, finding a um, sort of a home ready for you in, in West Auckland, are you going to have quite a lot of um, support from your family and um, friends? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm sure I have a lot of support yeah. too. How much confidence do, does rounds and the number of rounds you've done? I mean, you can take a hell of a lot of confidence out of that coming into this fight, can't you? You know, confidence is um, confidence and, and, and self belief. You know, it, it can be 90% of the battle. Yeah. You know, as long as you're in really, really good shape and you know what to do, you've got confidence. A confident fighter is a hard fighter to be. Yeah, I've got a lot of confidence. The last couple of guys, Joe's fought, there was a hint that maybe once they got to the big stage it became a bit too much for them. 
Whereas that's not going to be effective for you. It won't be effective for me at all. You know, a lot of those fighters here. Oh, they know. They know. They know. I'm not saying the fights are set up because yeah. by no means they were, but they know the game plan. They go in there, they get a hide and they get paid, they go home. You know? yeah. Yeah. That's not one of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I say every fight's my last fight. I, I give it my all. Mm. If we die in there, we die in there, but God willing, we won't. But yeah. I, I just give it everything. Yeah. And then I'll look past. You know? Sure. You know, we've seen Joseph do a lot of damage uh, to guys in the ring with some good skill. Um, what is it that makes you feel you can stand up to that kind of pressure and that power? Well, what he's doing, I can do too. So, you know, the, the, the question always is, um, can you handle what you dish up? You know, he's a fast puncher. Has he, has he seen fast punches? He's a heavy puncher. Has he seen, felt heavy punches? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of the questions that will be answered on 15, which makes it an exciting fight, mm -hmm. you know? You know, people can look at this guy's 45, it doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. I'm in shape and I know what I know, and I can put it on well, the can, yeah, It yeah, must be very pleasing if you just need I mean, Mark, yeah, Mark has knocked out Pacquiao, and he was over 40, so... There you, you go. Know, yeah, yeah. There you go. I mean, it's... Boxing's a beautiful sport, but sometimes it's a plastic <laughs> game, you know what I mean? Like, Do you still have love for, this, for the sport? I mean, you know, yeah, or is it just a job now? Or? Oh, it's, it's, it's fine. I, I do love this sport, you know. I, and I know when it's over, it's going to be all over. So, and whatever I've done in the ring, that's what I teach a lot of people who I train in boxing. Whatever you do in the ring is what's going to be spoken about forever. Exactly. That's your legacy. Yeah. So, you know, I, I can't go in the ring and not give it everything or I can't go in the ring are you and lie down. Are you training fighters now a bit more calm? I train, train on my side and I yeah. train another fighter. Um, but you know, even them or even just giving people advice, mm. you know, whatever you do in that ring is what's going to be spoken about forever. Yeah. You know, so... Yeah. So that means a lot to Particularly me. in this part of the world, right? Especially, yeah. especially, you know. You know, sometimes the fans can be cool, you know, they talk, <laughs> ah, you know, that's, that's what we do. Yeah. So yeah, I still have love for us, but and, and, and my legacy is what I want to make. You know, I'm from West Auckland too. Yep. So you're a fellow West. So what does it mean just to fight there in your, you know, in uh, West Auckland? Thanks, man. Oh, it's. I mean, I fought everywhere. I fought in Vegas. I fought in Madison Square Garden, Mandalay Bay. I fought all over the world: Germany, England. To fight back in West Auckland, I mean, it's home. You know? it's, it's nice. You know what I mean? It's it's. Um, yeah, it's, how do you say, I don't know how to say it, but it, it, it does mean a lot after all that to come back home and find it. Um, just, just in terms of your game plan, I know you don't want to disclose much of it, but will you be adopting a similar strategy to what Bowie did, which is just go forward, try and knock him out as soon as possible, or are you going to be more tactical in your approach? Yeah. Yeah. Bowie was the stronger fighter who had to try and get down Joseph and put big shots. Yeah. Like you said, I'm not going to give away my game for Yeah, yeah. Uh, and just what, what's the boxing community going to find out about Kelly Meehan on, on the night? Oh, the boxing, uh, you say the boxing fans, they're blessed. Like I said, once again, I'll say it again, what David Tu and Jimmy Bell started, they've got everyone interested in boxing. You know what I mean? Because New Zealand people probably always had that love for it, just didn't know. When they saw what David was doing, Jimmy had ignited the passion and what, what Shane carried on to do, you know. So the, the, the love for the sports there, you know, and now Duke are doing an awesome job nurturing it all along and bringing Joe along. Awesome. So I think they're going to really be up for good, good fight. I hope tra uh, training goes well. Thank you. Those hands of yours, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, you can feel the power there, so uh, thank Thanks. you very much. All the best. Thank you.